They say patience is a virtue, and United fans have certainly been patient this summer. We've had Edinson Cavani, who is expected to complete his Manchester United move this weekend. And now it seems like Manchester United have finally agreed a deal with Porto to sign left-back Alex Tellez. Yes, please, drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. But the story is coming out of Sky Sports News in Germany, and it's also being confirmed everywhere in Portugal. The United and Porto have agreed on a €20 million Euro deal that will see Tellez join Cavani, join van der Beek as a signing at United this summer. The 27-year-old left-back is a massive, massive signing for United because the left-back position is a problem position for United. We need someone who's a proper modern-day overlapping fullback, and Tellez is exactly that. Now, with Tellez, as it's the case with every single United signing, you know it is... It's long, it's drawn out. And United were seemingly haggling over a very small change. Given that we're willing to pay 10 million euros or thereabouts to Cavani for his agent fees, and we're haggling over the four, five, six million euros with Tellez because he's available on a free in the summer, there in the, in the summer, sorry, so United didn't want to pay what Porto wanted. To and fro, back and forth, United, will we get him, won't we? It seems like we've got our man. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But for me, that's a major, major signing. And actually, in a problem position for United. Unlike, I wouldn't say up front isn't a problem position, but a striker wasn't a priority. An attacking midfielder was not the priority. But if you're looking at the problem positions at United, centre-back, central midfield, right wing and left back. No offence to Luke Shaw, but he hasn't shown enough in the last couple of years to prove that he deserves that spot without competition. Bring Tellez in there, maybe Shaw will up his game. And I think he will, and Tellez will come in there and immediately improve that starting 11. And actually add some quality, because it's not always just about signing young players. The quality and the success of a young player depends on the quality and the strength of the senior players around him. In that sense, I understand why Cavani could make a big difference to the likes of Rashford, Martial and Greenwood. In the same way that Tellez could do the same thing for Shaw, but Shaw's not even that young anymore. But now that you've got Diogo Delot, he's moved to AC Milan. Good luck to Diogo. He's gone out of the squad. Take Brandon Williams, push him to right back. Then you've got wan and Williams as the right back deputy. And then on the left back, you've got Tellez with Shaw as backup. That is a significant improvement on what United's fullback options were last season. Now, according to the reports coming from Portugal, Tellez will have his medical tonight. So we've got Spurs today. We've got Cavani medical in incoming. We've got a Tellez medical incoming. My God, it's going to be a mad last couple of days for United. We've still got to sort Smalling out. What's happening with Sancho? Probably nothing. What's happening with the Sancho replacement? I've no idea, but that's on the cards as well. But Tellez, man, happy days. You've got to be happy about that. Sure, let me know what you think. Look how sunny it is out here. Ghana treating me to the weather and United treating me to transfers. Hopefully they can treat me to three points against Spurs as well because I'm recording this just before the Spurs game. But I question whether United were really going to go down this path with Tellez, that we were really going to just keep trying and trying and trying to get the price that we wanted, not that Porto would agree to. Now, it was originally €25 million. Euros. We went in with a €15 million Euro offer and Pini Zahavi is the agent who has sorted this all out. In the middle, 20 million euros. Now, for Porto, that's a decent price for a player who's going to be available for a free for other clubs in only a few months' time. And for United, 20 million euros is a great price for a 27-year-old Champions League established top draw quality modern-day fullback. Because bringing Tellez in will elevate Rashford's game straight away because you'll have someone who's constantly on the overlap has the quality on the overlap as well, but that will take a defender away from Rashford and allow him to run in at a defence with only one player there, rather than having two players there because Shaw rarely, really properly overlapped and therefore it was very difficult for Rashford to beat his man. But United fans, we've been so patient this summer. We really have. And it's been long, it's been drawn out, and it's been extremely painful watching us be... Look... Aston Villa has spent twice as much as United. Leeds has spent twice as much as United. And before we signed Cavani, and before we signed Tellez, Newcastle had spent as much as us. City had spent over 100 million more than us. Chelsea had spent nearly 200 million more than us. But it seems like United 
are doing what, exactly what we thought they would do, panic towards the end of the window. And I'd rather United panic and sign players like Tellers than not sign players at all because we need improvements in this squad if we're going to be... And look at that Champions League group, man. It's not as if we didn't need signings before it, but we need signings after that. With PSG and Leipzig in the group stage, it was one of the toughest draws that we could possibly have gotten. But United... It seems like we've got our man in Alex Tellez. And that is a big, big deal. A medical tonight. That means that we could see Cavani coming in. We could see Tellez coming in. We could see Smalling going out. Delot's already gone. Pereira's gone. Maybe a Sancho re replacement or maybe Sancho himself. Well, I'm really not holding up much hope for a Sancho deal. But Tellez is a player that I was worried that United were just going to let it go to the wire and just let him go by for a few million. But it seems, according to reports coming from Portugal... According to Sky Sports, not yet Fabrizio, and I'm sure we'll get that. And that's when the excitement will really build. But it seems like Tellez to United is a done deal. The medical's happening soon. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But Van der Beek, Cavani and Tellez, it's still not enough. But we're getting towards this summer actually being an OK summer in terms of the signings that we're making. But United still need to do more. And there's only 36 hours left. But at least Tellez, it looks like. That is a done deal. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And make sure you drop a like on the video as well. But Tellez, welcome to United, buddy.